use a unit fraction with either conversion to convert the units round to the hundredths place value. In this video, I will show both unit fractions based upon both conversions. In the first example, we're asked to convert 95 kilograms to pounds. We begin by writing 95 kilograms as a fraction with the denominator of one. And now we multiply by a unit fraction to convert kilograms to pounds. The important thing to recognize here is you want kilograms to simplify out, leaving us with pounds, and right now we have kilograms in the numerator, which means for the unit fraction, kilograms must be in the denominator and pounds must be in the numerator. And now if we use the first conversion of one pound is approximately 0 0.454 kilograms, one possible unit fraction is one pound over 0 0.454 kilograms. If we use a second conversion of one kilogram is approximately 2.205 pounds, a second possible unit fraction would be 2.205 pounds over one kilogram. Notice in both cases we have kilograms divided by kilograms and therefore the units of kilograms simplify out, leaving us with pounds. And now we multiply. We have 95 times one, which is 95, over one times 0 0.454, which is 0 0.454, and now the units are pounds. And in the second conversion, notice how the denominator is one, when we multiply, we just have 95 times 2.205, and again, the units are pounds. And now let's determine the quotient and product on the calculator. And again, we are told to round to the hundredths place value. Notice for the quotient, if we round to the hundredths place value, we round down, and therefore we have approximately 209.25 pounds. And then for the product, there's a five in the hundredths place value, and therefore we round up, and we have approximately 209.48 pounds. Notice how there is a slight difference in the number of pounds, and that's because these conversions are approximations. But again, the Hormic system will accept either conversion. Let's go ahead and use, let's go ahead and use this first conversion here of approximately 209.25 pounds. And now let's convert 175 pounds to kilograms. We first write 175 pounds as a fraction with the denominator of one. And now we multiply by a unit fraction to perform the conversion. But notice how here we have pounds in the numerator and we want pounds to simplify out, leaving us with kilograms, which means this time in the unit fraction we must have pounds in the denominator and kilograms in the numerator. Using the first conversion, one possible unit fraction would be 0 0.454 kilograms over one pound. Using the second conversion, a second possible unit fraction would be one kilogram over 2.205 pounds. Again, in both cases, notice how we have pounds divided by pounds, and therefore the units of pounds simplify out, leaving us with kilograms. And now in this first product, notice how we have a denominator of one, and therefore we just have 175 times 0 0.454, and the units are now kilograms. And now for the second product, we will still have a quotient after multiplying. We have 175 divided by 2.205, and the units are kilograms. And now let's go back to the calculator and determine this product and this quotient. And again, we're told to round to the hundredths place value. For the product, we have 79.45 kilograms. And then for the quotient, running to the hundredths place value, we have approximately 79.37 kilograms. And again, there's a slight variation because these conversions are approximations. Either answer is acceptable. Let's go ahead and use 79.45 kilograms. I hope you found this helpful.